Hi there, so this is just an update video to the Ryzen 9 3900X uh, buffer and latency test in Ableton Live. I'm uh, testing it now with the Scarlett 4 uh, in 4, third generation, just to see if there are any differences. Currently I'm using 48 kHz in sample rate and I'm using 32 samples uh, buffer size. I've also been able to record directly from the ASIO driver into another audio interface actually recording it into OBS here. So uh, what you hear should uh, be the ASI audio and there shouldn't be any noticeable uh, lag or anything. So I thought we could uh, start it off in the beginning here. We have the CPU meter here. I could also add that I'm using the latest, I think it's 1201 uh, BIOS. And I'm also using some automated overclocking. I think it's a uh, level three uh, in the BIOS. Other than that, memory settings are uh, using the XMP or DOCP profile, I think it is. So it should be somewhat stock settings. Let's just start in the beginning here with the 48 kilohertz and the 32 samples. Uh, I don't hear any crackle here, but we, that's because probably there's uh, less instruments going on. We can go to this part where uh, the action uh, ha is happening and see how it sounds like. Okay, you can see the CPU going up to about 40-50% and uh, I actually heard a little crackle there, I'm not sure if you heard it in the YouTube video. But if we set it up to 64, I think it, we will get rid of it. Let's try 48 kHz and 64 in the buffer size. I can't hear any uh, clicks or noise at 48 kilohertz 64. There may be some small, small crackle there, but it's very difficult to hear in uh, this part. So uh, I think that 48 kilohertz and let's say 128 would be no problem here. And for fun, as I did in the last video, we can, now I have it at 96 and 32 samples. Let's try beginning here, see how it works. <clears throat> As you heard there, there, when more instruments are introduced, it's unable to handle it. But if we set it to 124 samples, just for fun, and see how that works.
yeah, it's a little better, but it's uh, 124 samples, so uh, that's uh, no surprise, really. For my use, I'm going to use it at 48 kilohertz, and I think it, I'm going to have it at 256 samples. So just for fun, we can also check out this project where I use an external uh, instrument. Let's set it to 96 kilohertz and 32 samples. <laughs> Turn off the effects. Yeah, so that worked, but there are only two tracks here, so uh, it doesn't really demand that much uh, from the PC. Changing from the first generation to the third generation didn't really give that much performance. It enables me to record my sessions using ASIO, and that's of course great, but I don't think performance-wise it didn't really help uh, that much. So I hope this update video was helpful, and let me know if you want me to test some other things. And uh, until next time, take care and I'll talk to you in the next one.